Kim Bishop, Ronald Gaynor, call bankruptcy the only option. This is the bankruptcy filing. The top creditors are accusers suing the diocese over the clergy sex abuse scandal. There could be some 200 lawsuits out there. This plan will allow us to continue the church's work in our diocese while equitably compensating our creditors. Bishop Ronald Gaynor says the Diocese of Harrisburg was unhealthy financially before paying out $12.5 million to a victim's compensation fund. He says legal fees incurred from the grand jury investigation into abuse and cover-ups made bankruptcy the best option. Legal costs continue to mount and they have had harsh financial consequences for the diocese. Our current financial situation is unsustainable going forward. Bankruptcy puts lawsuits filed by abuse survivors on hold. The diocese listed assets at only one to ten million dollars. Since the parishes are not in the bankruptcy, if a parish owns something, whether it's real estate or funds or a work of art, that's not included in the bankruptcy. Attorney General Josh Shapiro called the bankruptcy filing a legal maneuver to skirt responsibility and absolve themselves financially and continue to avoid transparency. I don't think it's the chief law enforcement officer's job to tell people in the Commonwealth uh, and criticize people in the Commonwealth when they are obeying the law and following the law. Bishop Gaynor called a meeting of priests throughout the diocese before the late afternoon press conference. He wanted to tell them, explain to them how the bankruptcy protection will work and say that churches, parishes in the diocese as well as schools will continue to operate as normal. Live in Dauphin County, Barbara Barr, WGAL News 8.